This is Blue's Fiend, and I'm making yet another attempt to create my very first video. And the reason why I'm creating this video is to show you how awesome the M240B can be. Ah, oh, I keep saying that! M240B can be. That just sounds so silly. Um, I'm just going to show you how awesome the M240B is. Uh, so, for my loadout, I've got the foregrip and the flash suppressor. And mainly because, if you look at the stats, this gun has one of the most uh, recoil uh, of all the guns in the Battlefield 3 game. So, I need those attachments to basically help control that. Now, I'm playing, I think this is Zeba Tower. And uh, the, the other reason why I'm creating this is because I went on YouTube and there aren't a lot of M240B videos. It doesn't appear to be a very popular weapon, um, but I recently got 20,000 frags with it. So uh, I wanted to demonstrate how awesome this gun is and how a new, like myself, can be successful with it. So let's see. Obviously, the goal is to take these flags and that an enemy? It certainly is, and I don't know how he didn't die. And I don't know what's going on here. Anyways, um, we just got those two dudes, and I... Ah, oh, another dude! Oh, no! Are you kidding me? You... Oh, that's ridiculous. There's too many up. Where's backup? I need backup. That's just crazy stuff going on right there. Uh, so, I'm going to try and work my way up the, uh, uh, the leaderboards here. I came here to Ramfackle. I wasn't sure what Ramfackle was, but I think it has something to do with hacking. And I think I was getting shot there. No, uh, he's not going to help me, but... Ah, it's like, oh, what am I doing? Ah, no, 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 no. God, throw down some help, please. Somebody. Oh, oh. No wonder my family can't take when I play this game. <laughs> um... As I start to get out of control with the, the panicking of these encounters here that I'm having. Purple diarrhea? No, I'm not having... No, there's somebody up there! No, no, come on! You know what? Oh, jeez. I was going to say, uh, in my other videos, I talked I talked a little... Oops, I'm on the U.S. A little bit about uh, the gameplay. The gameplay uh, is obviously I'm doing in-game commentary, and that just died. So, let's see what's going on. We lost the objective, and he just ran right past my bullets. And some Claymore got somebody. Oh my goodness! This is just absolutely nuts, and I need to just basically get some help. Stuck in these plants. Um, the gameplay is slightly different. I mean, I don't usually record with fraps when I play, but I'm using fraps, and the game sometimes gets a little laggy, so it's definitely affecting my gameplay a little bit. Not to make excuses. I mean, I'll admit, you know, I'm, I'm like definitely, uh, uh, you know, one of the biggest noobs uh, that I know of when it comes to playing uh, Battlefield 3. And I make no, no uh, mistake about it that you know I'm I'm a hardcore noob. Now I will also say that I have become somewhat successful as a noob, unlike some of these other people that uh, post YouTube videos that are clearly you know in the pro status. I am not one of those people. So if you come here for tips. You know, pro level tips, um, and that dude is just gonna get shot. Oh, someone else got! I can't believe it. He took my frag, and somebody is shooting me. Um, if you come here for pro tips, you know I can tell you, you know the advice that. Uh, yeah, see, it's just a little bit. Hey, don't shoot at me, dude. Okay, yeah, that's one advice. I think I gave that in the other game too. Don't shoot. Where did that grenade come from? Don't shoot at your own teammates. Um, Claymore. Excellent. That's the whole purpose. Ah, you use Claymores. It's like, yeah, but you know what? It's in the game. I can use it. You can't tell me not to. Um, 
Yeah, you know, when I first started playing, when I first started playing Battlefield 3, I died a lot. I, I ran out of bullets again. Jeez, man, I'm not watching my ammo very good. Um, find cover. Oh, another claymore. Find cover to reload, because this gun just takes forever to reload. And, you know, obviously it's one of the disadvantages. People need a quick reload time. But I like having the extra bullets, and yeah, it just... When I first started playing, I died a lot, and I tried different weapons, and I found that the assault, not the assault, the support class, um, you know, gave me an unlimited supply with, as an enemy, I, and I missed it because the ground is shit, and he got me with a grenade, or somebody did. Um, the support class gave me ammo and claymores because... I used the claymores to kind of like watch my six a little bit. You know, when I first started playing, I would, you know, I would say I camped a lot, but, you know, if I took a flag. Okay, there's an enemy somewhere around here. And he threw a grenade. Yeah, eat that sucker. Um, yep. Oh, he just jumped down, didn't he? And uh, uh, now I forget what I was saying. Can someone remind me what I was saying? Oh, I died a lot. And I'm not paying attention to what's going on here. Yeah, because I'm trying to think what I was uh, saying. Yeah, I died a lot. So I, I used this kit because it gave me the ability to use the claymores to watch my six. Thank you, dude. Here's some ammo. Uh, and I, I just found that I died the least when I had, when I used this weapon. Now, a little bit of history, this gun has undergone some changes with each patch, and I will have to say, some people are using C4, and it's just like driving me nuts here. Um, I wasn't happy with the very, that dude just ran right past him. I wasn't happy with the first patch, because the first patch, I just saw a grenade go flying. What was I going to do here? Okay, we got all the flags. Oh, man, I'm just like trying to do this in-game commentary and talk about how when I first started playing, I died a lot and I used this weapon. Oh, oh, the patch. That's what I was talking about. We lost the objective. We lost, we lost C. Uh, yeah. When I... Once I got reasonably decent with this weapon. I was probably... That's a, that's an enemy right there. And I ran out of bullets again. I'm not watching my bullets count here. And it's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. And we've got people just all over the place. And just I'm just dying. There's too many of them. Um, yeah, I was getting about 30% headshot kills. And the gun had the right... It had the right bursting technique and uh, burst firing and it just it just worked well for me. I, I mean, again, I, I wasn't like one of these dudes who was running around um, owning everybody, but like I said, I, I died less often than not when I used this weapon. So, that's basically... I'm getting shot from behind. Who's shooting me? Take that. Oh, I got two people. Well, no, I got one with a headshot and one with a claymore. So, yeah, it's like, okay, a lot of people like to rag the claymores, but, you know, when I used to do more camping, is that an enemy? It certainly is. Oh, no, what's going on? Oh, I'm getting shot. I need a medic. Come on, dude. Give me some health. Medic. Somebody. And I have no claymores to put down. So I gotta be careful. Okay, and we're losing B. Uh, yeah, so I'll try and give tips as I. That's an enemy, and he's moving too much. And there's another dude down there too. And we gotta watch what's coming around this corner here. All right. All right. Somebody's shooting him. I don't know who it is. And I should reload as we take the 
flag. Not the best place to find cover to reload, but let's just see what's going on. And I'm dead. From another 240B. He must know how awesome this weapon can be. Uh, <laughs> so... Oh, I got revived. Excellent. And he's dead. So let's see. Uh, what's my best strategy for you? Yeah, you know, here you can go and try and take A, but ah, someone's shooting me. And I'll just take a couple shots down to my knee power. So I'll check my mini map for some health, and I don't see any. And I hear gunshots. And I'm getting shot! And a dude right behind me, and I stand no chance. How we doing? Oh, 26 and 2. Not bad. You know, I, I, I'm getting this impression that the uh, opposing team uh, is filled with noobs who could probably benefit from my video. Because as I said before, <laughs> when, when, I, when I first started, uh, yeah, I, I died a lot. And it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't the greatest experience, but that was not a good place to spawn. Uh, choose your spawn places wisely. It's best to spawn on your teammate if he's trying to take a flag. Or your squad mate, I should say. Um, another thing I have to say, too, is my mouse pad doesn't seem to be staying in place. It's kind of annoying. I, so I keep having to adjust it. Alright, so let's see here. What's he up to? Uh, he's trying to help him, and I'll give him some ammo. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, you know, if you're, like, support or medic... Oh, I should have taken that flag. If you're a supporter medic, throw down whatever, you know, you've got that will help out your teammates. Did I take this flag? I'm a little bit late to the party. And we've got some gunfire going on. Now, here's one thing. Let's see. Check the mini-map as I round the corner. And we've got... Did we got enemies? 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 Anywhere? Pre-fire, yes. That's definitely a strategy. And he just, I can't believe he got me with a rocket. I thought I hopped out of the way. But, uh, yeah, throw down your ammo packs. Throw down your health kits. Kind of goes without saying, but, you know, some people need a gentle reminder. And i got to be careful here because there's enemies all in there. I don't know what I'm doing. That was bad, bad strategy. That was a bad strategy. Um, yeah, you know, if you want, like... Tips, there's lots of people who create videos on YouTube that give you tips that can definitely... And I've watched, you know, they give you tips on how to, you know, improve your gameplay. And, you know, basically, I feel that my video is probably more for, like, you know, if you're not a good player, how can you be successful? That's kind of, that's kind of, and there's people in there, and I'll just shoot and... You know, so, you know, it's no spotting, man. spot people, helps out your teammates, and, you know, you get points for it, obviously, you can use it to rank up. Now, there's an enemy right there, and I'm jumping, and they shoot him in the back, and then shoot him, and I don't know why I'm not aiming down sight, and there's, and I need a, pick up your ammo, they're over here. I need a, oh, well, I was going to get a grenade and blow that thing up, because that's one of my assignments. And I know sometimes it seems annoying. You're trying to like get an assignment, and you gotta like play these like garbage kits, or I shouldn't say garbage, but kits you're not necessarily used to. Now he uh, basically fragged my teammate there, which wasn't very nice. So I just basically, you know, gave him a shot in the face and take. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to see. So you know. Yeah, I'm doing in-game. Now, there's an enemy right in again! It's like the third time. See, I'm not paying attention to my uh, ammo count. Because, you know, I'm doing this in-game commentary. And there's somebody shooting. I don't know who we shoot. Um, we lost the objective, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm not paying attention to stuff I normally pay attention to. So... 
this game will probably be over pretty soon. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. So I, we don't have A, and I could be aggressive and go try and take A, but I'll probably just sit over here and camp and basically shoot at people. And we're going to get this game. And I got him too. Um, so you can see, you know, this... Now I'm shooting my own teammates. So I'm violating my own rules there, shooting at your own teammates. So we won the game, and we'll see how I did. I, I think I did okay. Yeah, you know, 31-5, that's that's not too bad. I, like I said before, we're not playing the best players. Um, and, you know, you can tell by my KD ratio that uh, uh, that's a little bit better than my average. And this team won with a bunch of tickets left over. So, um, you know, this video is to show that, you know, you can be successful, even as a noob, with the M240B. And, you know, I'm going to post this video so that other people can, you know, enjoy and appreciate how awesome, you know, this gun is. And as the team tend to even out here, I don't know if they're all balancing or people just quitting out. Uh, you know, I may create some more videos. Uh, if, if you like it, then, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. You could be my first subscriber. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, as you know that uh, if I wasn't such a noob, I'd be awesome. Later.